The truth of the matter is the workplace has changed, the workforce has changed, and what used to work 50 years ago isn't resonating anymore. Hi, I'm Lisa and I am a speaker and one of the co-founders of Good Company Consulting. Something that's always kind of shocked me is how so many people talk about humans at work like they are numbers on a spreadsheet, like they are a line item, like they are human capital, like they are a thing. But we are human beings, we're complex, we are individuals, we're distinct, we're unique. We try to bring that human element back into the workplace. Because when you bring kindness, when you bring empathy, when you bring a communication style that's focused outward to the audience that you're communicating with, rather than inward where you're just seeking for ways to respond or trying to look smart or trying to one-up the people next to you, that's when the good work happens. That's when the connections happen. That's when creativity happens, innovation. That's when organizations learn how to thrive. It kind of makes me laugh when people talk about, you know, soft skills and empathy, like, they are um, things that you do at the end of the day when you've done everything else, when you've talked about strategy, when you've crunched the numbers. That could not be farther from the truth. We're seeing that as the working world gets more automated and people start worrying about their jobs more, the thing that's actually making them stand out and the things that are making companies stronger and better is actually those soft skills. They are not just something to do for fun or at a company retreat, they're critical to the future of your workplace, they're critical to the well-being of your workplace, they're absolutely essential to everything from recruiting, retaining, engaging, selling, marketing. I mean, you name it, if you don't have the soft skills, you basically have nothing. The working world has changed, it's changed pretty drastically, and um, that hierarchical model isn't working anymore. So a lot of leaders that we see in the workplace today have actually inherited a model from you know, the 1920s, 30s, 40s, when the working world really blossomed in, in the states as we know it today. What we really try to do is bring those leaders some strategies, some tools, some of the insights that we've gleaned over the last decade to help move the needle and tweak the way that they're communicating with a workforce that just isn't the same. I love the process of putting that content together and then not just the, the putting it together piece but also delivering it to an audience and watching in the room as the light bulbs go on. You can actually see it in people's faces as they make those connections, as they come to that understanding, as they realize, oh, that's what I've been doing. I'm going to change that. I'm going to show up to work different tomorrow. We want people to feel intrinsically motivated. That they feel engaged and happy and are willing to go beyond the to-do list that they're given every day. Really, that's all anyone wants, is to work for a good company. And the working world is such a huge part of our lives. Why would we settle for less than great? We shouldn't.